Well, do you understand that this club is dehumanizing women? Don't, aren't you concerned about that? I'm an ICU nurse. I feel really fucking sexy right now. I think you should be concerned about like how women are being dehumanized and objectifying themselves and like perpetuating a culture that uses and abuses women. That doesn't concern you at all? You're okay with that? Okay, but in there, they're treating women like commodities and like products where they go and pay money to gain sexual pleasure from them. It's a job, but you know what it's not? Yeah, it's a wrong job. It's not yes, it is. It's a form of prostitution. Yep. They're, they're, my, people give my, them... I pay for my own tab. People give them I money. Accept, I don't accept drinks from other people. This is my favorite club. But I'm saying, the women who work here, they, get, they take money from people to... You know, Give people sexual pleasure through the through what they do. That's a form of prostitution. I can see your point of view. Can you see my point of view that I come here to have a good time and I want to come out here and smoke? And I would love to not hear you. Yeah. Right. I think that's accurate. Okay, then but then you should you should care more about like dehumanization of people than like you having a good time, right? Isn't that more important? So you're saying, who, who wants to feel loved? I want to feel loved. By I coming here, you want you say you feel loved by coming here? I feel loved by being able to dance with a woman. Dance with a woman? To have fun. It's fun. Um, okay, it's well, why would you want to dance with a woman, though? Because it's fun. Okay. Because I'm not going to dance with another man. What about your husband? You won't dance with him? He's dancing with me. Okay, not you should. It's not. Women. It's not fun to dance with him. No, it's fun to dance with him too. Okay. But he's my DD. He's my designated driver, so he allows me to come out and have fun. Okay. And we come out and we have cigarettes out here. Are, are, so have you have you uh, heard the gospel of Jesus Christ? I have. Thanks. Yeah, you've. And so I love do you. God. I you love, love God. God. I do. So have you been born again? I have been born again. So, well, it's only it's only one thing. It's one time thing. It's the Holy Spirit coming to live inside of you and changing your desires. And if your desires are changed, and if changed me to be the best person I possibly can be, and I know He loves me. Okay. And He loves when I get out of the weekends. You know what? I save lives during the week. I save lives. Okay. I literally save lives. But you care more about smoking a cigarette and having a good time than the objectification and systemic dehumanization of women. And that doesn't really indicate that you love people. It seems like a selfish attitude, right? And like, shouldn't like sexual perversion, like shouldn't you hate that and like be appalled by that and like not want to have anything to do with that and like not come to a place that practices that? Because that's what this is. Like people come here to lust after women and God hates that. So why would you have anything to do with that? Yes, he does. Jesus said, if you look at a woman Jesus with lustful Christ. intent, you've committed adultery with her in your heart. That's Jesus what's happening Christ in there. Jesus does not say that. Jesus, Christ, Jesus said that. I save you. I have given my life to save you. Uh, no, you need to read the Bible. That Jesus said that. Okay, Jesus said that. So lust is adultery in the heart. That's what happens in here. So you shouldn't be at peace with that. Adultery is already cheat on my husband. I will never cheat on my husband. Okay. And there's another form of adultery where you look at somebody with lustful intent, and that's adultery in the heart. Okay, but people come here to do that, okay? And you're at peace with that. You're dancing in there like everything's okay in the midst of that sin that God hates. And it, so it doesn't indicate to me that you're born again. You don't have the fruit of somebody who's been born again. I'm allowed to be my own person, and everyone's going to find their own way in their own way. Um, no, you need to you need to repent of your sin and put your faith in Jesus Christ. And, my faith is in Jesus Christ. Okay, then you're going to follow him, and you're going to hate what he hates, and you're going to love what he loves, and you're not going to want to have anything to do with this place. Jesus loves me myself. Jesus no, he doesn't. 
You know, he doesn't want you to be yourself because we in ourselves, we're sinful and we do evil things. He wants us to be renewed through the Holy Spirit. He, he wants us to be full of the Holy Spirit and obey him. He said, if you love me, you will keep my commandments. There's ten commandments. There are ten. And every single one of them, you can look at them in depth. And you can see there are different things to be said in each and every one of them. And all it comes to is how you interpret them. Um, it's, 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 pretty, it's pretty easy to interpret them. No, and, and well, everyone has their own interpretation. No. The, <laughs> how many people have you seen die? Mm, I haven't seen anybody die. Really? I've literally done chest and have them die. Have them I've had them tell me. I've seen them die. And so, I've had to. What about I've it? Had, you know what? I know. Because it's still nice. And they tell me time and time again, you know what? I wish that you lived your life. And I've had husbands come and say, you know, I wish my wife was here. And I've had the wives come and say, I wish you were here. And I've had people come from nursing homes and die in front of me. And I have worked my fucking ass off to save their fucking life. What about it? What does that have to do with what we're talking about it has right to now? Do with the fact that, you know what? I do my best to save well, you're, if you love people, you're going to tell people to not have anything to do with this place and to not lust here and go to hell, right? No, no that, you, you know what? Hell is something that is something that, you know what? Yeah, you know what? You're right. There are people here that probably are doing things they shouldn't do. Right, so you should but, tell but them. the thing is, is right now, I watched a two-year-old die this week. A two-year-old die. Two years old. Okay, so so that doesn't justify your sin, though. Like, you should not be at peace with an abomination, but say, "Hey, we should stop. We should stop lusting after women. We should start treating women with women with respect. We should stop in like endorsing and promoting and giving business to places like this." No, that's what. That's the appropriate response no, to sin if you love women Jesus have Christ. Their own no, it's not. Yes. It is. Objectifying women to, themselves. No, women need to have self-confidence. They need to know that they're loved. They need to have a good fucking man like this man right here. Well, they're not being loved in here. They're being lusted after. But you know, and you're I'm okay here. with that. I'm here, so obviously not every single one of them is. I'm talking about the women who work here. It, it, it appears that they have enough self-confidence and enough love for themselves to do what they want rather than be subjectified by someone with a sign. Well, no, 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 they're being objectified. They, they're they're their, being by used. Their own means. By men who are cheating on their, their, their own means. People are entitled to their own choices, and they're God even allows them. And they're making wrong choices. So if we love them, it's we should say, right. hey, hey, you're doing the wrong thing that's going to destroy you. No. I love you enough to warn you about hell and, and the wrath of yeah. God, right? And so that's what you should tell them. And if God you love them, you're going to warn them when they're in danger, right? That's God what you're going to do. God will forgive all. No, he's not. He's only going to forgive those who are born again, those who repent and believe in Jesus Christ. It does matter. It's very essential. It You're not a Christian, ma'am. You don't have the fruit of a Christian. You know what? I believe I'm a Christian, and that's what matters to me. And so and we and we may see things out a different view, but I'm going to go in there and I'm going to have fun. And when those women come out, I'm going to holler at them because you know what? I know if I was out there. I would feel happy. And you're just because encouraging them in, in the very thing that's going to send them to hell. Not you're not loving them. them. You're hating them. It's that's a form of hatred. Hell. You're encouraging them in their sin. Not you're not a Christian, ma'am. The standard needs to, your standard needs to be the Bible, and it's not. It will not send them to Yes, it will. If you continue to rebel against God, unrepentant, unregenerate, you will go to hell. God has given me everything that I have. Okay, then you should then stop we'll, doing that, right? No, because you know what? This is me, and I'm allowed to. Uh, no, you shouldn't I'm want to sin, right? You shouldn't want to dress I'm immodestly, not, right? No, I'm not, no. That's sin against God. No, if you're a Christian, God you're not going to want to do that. to sit in the home and not do anything. Well, he doesn't want you to dress immodestly. You just admitted yourself where, that you're... Where you um, can't say that? Where believe can't say that? I believe it's in uh, Timothy, First Timothy. You think okay, women are instructed to, to dress modestly? No. My husband is with me. Well, other men. But you know what? The thing is, I'm here. This is the club that I'm at, and I would appreciate it. I'll tell you, it. 
intoxicates men with lust when they see women who are half naked and not wearing it, who are dressed in lust and intoxicate them with lust. And, and men, men are guilty of the same thing. It's not just women. I mean, men dress very inappropriately too. But, but men, when they, when they see women that, that dress immodestly, or have, have naked clothes or whatever, it, it can very much intoxicate them. Yes, they are. And women need to, need to not do that. They need to love. No, women are allowed to do that. It's not biblical. The Bible. Biblically, they they're, are. they're not loving. A Christian, a Christian woman who does that, she's not loving her brother anymore. She's allowing her dress to intoxicate, possibly intoxicate her brother. That's not loving. It's not. Everyone's allowed to interpret it differently. And we interpret it differently. Well, you've already admitted that you're dressed inappropriately by your own admission, so you know it's, know. according to your own standard, it's wrong. So, like. Well, I know I'm dressed inappropriately, but I also know that God will allow me to be like this. No. No, no, God doesn't, he can, he'll what? allow you, but, but you know you're still in rebellion know. against him and you can turn from that. Not God. You are not God. You are not Jesus Christ. But I can tell you the word of God, right? No. Yeah, I can. will tell me the word of God every Sunday, every Wednesday night. No, it's not just your pastor. Anybody with the Bible who can make sense no, of con like easily, easily interpreted words can, can tell you the truth from the Bible. I'm gonna keep preaching, ma'am. I'm gonna keep preaching, and you need you need to repent. You need to turn to Jesus. You're not a Christian, ma'am. You're not a Christian. The best thing to do, the most loving thing to do, is just to warn them that if you don't stop, what? People know. No one would. They're aware that they will go to hell. A lot of them don't care. That's the problem. You know what? When those people don't care, they can go to hell. They can go to hell. Well, but we don't. Knowing that they'll never get in, they'll throw up in their for all eternity.